Gentlemen and miladies, welcome to another video. Today uh, is something different. I'm not going to be doing a challenge, unfortunately. Today I'm going to be doing something I something I saw on YouTube. If you watch ba Birdkeeper Toby or Erizo or Erizo, I don't know how to pronounce it, or a lot of different YouTubers who would like to Pokemon, they. You've seen the make my gym my what they were talking about. They had a gym channel, a gym. Oh, I can't talk today. A gym in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is my I mean, my gym. If I had a gym in Pokemon Sun and Moon, here's what how here's how it would go. First off, I'm gonna be I'm gonna have the gym's not gonna be like all fancy, all classy. No, no, no. I'm gonna have my gym be run down, destroyed, holes everywhere, mud everywhere. Just just it looks horrible. It looks terrible. And I want to have it like in the deep dark woods. Yeah, you know, if you get now, if you pretty much can get guess what kind of Pokemon I would use just by di just by a description of my my gym. I will be using Ghost type Pokemon. Yes, Ghost type. I love Ghost type. I freaking love them. My one of my favorite Pokemon ever is Gengar. Also because I like to say Gengar like that. It makes me smile. I don't know why I'm weirdo. Anyways, Gengar is just is awesome. Anyways. Bottom line is, I'll use ghost type Pokemon. Here's how it go. You enter my gym. It's super dark and mysterious. You got, it's gonna be super dark. You can't see any. You can't see anything. Nothing. You gotta make your. You gotta make your way through. Make your way through traps. And make your way down a, a, a hallway. No, not actually a hallway. Like, how do I explain this? Uh, it's basically a line made of stone, and on the sides, nothing else. You fall down. You make one wrong move, you fall through a trap, you make one wrong move, you fall down, you make one wrong move, and you'll fall through it and you have to start all over. Once you find a door, once you find a door, or if you take a wrong, if you find, once you find a door, like, I'm sorry, I am so sorry. Anyways, as you, as you progress through my gym, you'll have to, you will see, you will get to, you'll have to make, you'll have to make turns, or take two way paths. Either way, once you get, once you take the right path, there'll be a nut, there'll be a little, there'll be a little piece of block right, in, right there, a little bit, a little bit way down the path. You can't avoid where you'll meet one of my gym trainers. Yeah, it's not, it's unavoidable. You have to find out. All my gym trainers will be like, you know, like golf, like golf people, creepy people, those people, like the ghost girl, like the ghost, like the ghost girl, for example. You'll see kind of people like them. Then, you know, the Pokemon they will use are will be Ghastly, Hone Edge, uh, Drift Bloom. Um, uh, <laughs> one second, I'm trying to think of more. I will kind of this Pokemon. I should have prepared for this better. I am so sorry. Um, Drift Bloom and Haunter. Wait, if you get. <laughs> If you get if you if you manage to get past all my gym trainers, you'll see me. You'll see me in a dark. And I'm showing my face. I got my black. I got my black jeans on. My black boots. My, and I have a hood. And I have a black hoodie on. Hoodie covering my face. Let me stand there on my on my little pedestal thing. My little pedestal thing. As you enter, one by one, a lit, you'll see Litwicks will turn. Little statues of Litwicks will turn on. Like boom, liquid, 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 liquid. All liquids turning on right there, so you can so you can see the gym, so you'll be able to see me better. You'll still get, you'll be able to see a bit better, but still get like a dark, eerie presence to it. I want my and I want my gym to be like around the six or seven gym, so I'll have three pump. So we so, I so my Pokemon will be around the early to mid thirties, I think six or early to mid thirties, but it's mid level thirties. A Pokemon, I, the first Pokemon I will bring out is a Bayonet, or Bayonet, I don't know how to pronounce it. It will know Shadow Ball, Thief, Dark Pulse, and Phantom Force. I'm not, not Phantom Force, I'm with someone. Yeah, Phantom Force, why not? Phantom Force. If you manage to beat my Bayonet, my Bayonet you'll want to, fit. next up I'll bring out my Tree Friend. Trevorant. I, 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 sorry, I, 
I love Pokemon X, but I don't know much of the po I can't pronounce much things. I don't watch the anime that much. Anyways, my Trevorant, my Trevorant, I'll call it that, will know what will know Energy Ball, Phantom Force, Forest Curse, and Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. Wait to yeah, and he will have, and he will have a metal, p and he'll have a spooky plate. So will my bayonet. And now finally, once you, I'll bring out my trump card, my ultimate Pokemon. If you get, if you didn't guess it by now, it's Gengar. I'm how am I not gonna bring out my favorite Pokemon in this? I'm using Ghost Pokemon. I'm gonna bring out my favorite Pokemon. Anyways, I'm bringing out Gengar. I like Gengar because he's a, a ghost and poison type, and he, and I've done the research. He is, he is the pow most powerful Pokemon, most powerful ghost type Pokemon. He is just awesome. I love him. Well, not, he was on, I wouldn't say like the most powerful. I'd say more of the most popular. I went on a website. I think I said it was the most powerful. But anyways, I'm getting ahead. I'm, I'm rambling. My Gengar, he would uh, even though let the move levitate, so ground type moves would be useless, useless against him. You would know the following moves. Dazzling Gleam. Uh-huh. A fairy type move. Got Phantom Force. Uh, dark Pul Dark. No, fan, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Venom Shock. And finally, Shadow Ball. So we know, we know Dazzling Gleam, Venom Shock, Dark Phantom Force, and Shadow Ball. And look, if you manage to defeat my Pokemon. You will be rewarded with what I would call, well, I'm going to call it the skull, the, the, the skull and crossbone badge. It will be a little badge with a skull, would be like, I like a Jolly Roger, a skull and a crossbone. And if you manage to, and I will reward, also reward you with a, sh with the TM4, with the hidden move, I'm sorry, the hidden move, oh, is it hidden? Yeah, TM, I'm really sorry. The, te the technical move, Shadow Ball, if you didn't guess that already. But anyways, guys, that's my gym. I hope you I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, fair, comment, subscribe to, to for more content, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.